Speaking of disruptive technologies, uh, a video was released last week by Google um, sh showing the potential of Google Glass. Uh, blew a lot of people's minds. Um, and since we had in the audience uh, the man whose original vision it was, why not invite him onto the TED stage to tell us more? Please welcome Sergey Brin. <laughs> Um, okay, it's great to be back at TED. Um, why don't I just start by firing away the video? Okay, Glass, record a video. This is it. We're on in two minutes. Okay, Glass, hang out with the Flying Club. Google photos of tiger heads. Hmm. You ready? You ready? Right there. Okay, Glass, take a picture. Oh, sorry. I, um, I just got this message from a Nigerian prince. Uh, needs help um, getting $10 million out. But I like to pay attention to these because uh, that's how we originally funded the company, and it's gone pretty well. Um, though, in all seriousness, uh, the, this position that you just saw me in, um, looking down my phone, um, that's one of the reasons behind this project, uh, Project Glass, um, because uh, we ultimately question whether this is you know, the ultimate future of how you want to connect to other people in your life, how you want to connect to information. Um, you know, should it be by just walking around, looking down? Uh, I can see many of you doing that right now because you know, this talk is too boring. I'm sorry. Um, but uh, that was the vision behind Glass. and. Uh, that's why um, we've created this form factor. Okay, and um, uh, I don't want to go through all the things it does and whatnot. Uh, it's uh, it's a privilege to be here on the TED stage, um, but I want to tell you a little bit more about uh, the motivation behind what led to it. Now, the other thing uh, is, in addition to uh, potentially socially isolating yourself when you're you know, out and about looking at your phone, uh, I feel it's kind of emasculating. Does anybody else feel that way? You know, you're standing around there and you're just like rubbing this uh, featureless piece of glass, you know, you're just kind of moving around. Uh, there's not even anything to feel, at least uh, back in the old days, or well, so for some people still in the new days, had like Blackberries with keys and things. And now it's just like, my wife uses a Blackberry, by the way, she loves it. Um, uh, but now we all use these touch phones, which you can't even feel. And uh, it's kind of, uh, 
you know, is this what you're meant to do with your body? Um, as the way we've evolved. Uh, so when we developed glass, we thought really about, can we make something that frees your hands? Um, you saw all the things people are doing, were doing in the video back there. Um, that was all, um, they were all wearing glass. And that's how we got that footage. Uh, and um, you want something that frees your eyes. Um, that's why we put the display up high, um, you know, out of your line of sight. So, you know, if you wear a baseball cap, then you typically, you know, the display would be on the rim. It wouldn't be where you're looking. Um, it wouldn't be where you're making eye contact with people. Uh, and also we wanted to free up the ears. Uh, so um, the sound actually uh, goes through, uh, conducts straight to the bones in your cranium, which is a little bit uh, freaky at first, but uh, you get used to it. And, um, and ironically, to, if you want to hear it better, you actually just cover your ear which is kind of surprising, but uh, that's how it works. Uh, so this project started uh, about, in my mind, my vision when we started Google uh, 15 years ago was that eventually you wouldn't have to have a search query at all. Uh, you would just have information come to you as you needed it. Uh, and this is now 15 years later, sort of the first form factor that I think can deliver that vision when you're out and about on the street talking to people and so forth. Uh, and uh, this project has lasted now, uh, been just over two years. Uh, we've learned an amazing amount. Uh, let's see, I don't think I have time to share all those learnings with you. Uh, but uh, it's been really important to make it comfortable. Uh, so our first, uh, you know, prototypes we built were huge, like, it was like cell phones strapped to your head. It was very heavy, um, pretty uncomfortable. Um, we had to keep it secret from our industrial designer until she actually accepted the job, and then she almost ran away uh, screaming. But, uh, uh, but we've come a long way, um, and, uh, and the other really unexpected surprise was the camera. Our original prototypes didn't have cameras at all. Uh, but it's been really magical to be able to capture moments uh, spent with uh, my family, my kids. Um, I just never would have dug out a camera or a phone or something else to take that moment, uh, you know, on the swing, playing, in the air, uh, whatever situation it would have been on. Um, and lastly, I've realized uh, in experimenting with this device uh, that uh, I also kind of have a nervous tick, you know, uh, I mean, the cell phone is, yeah, it's kind of, you have to look down on it and all that, but it's also kind of a nervous habit. Like, you know, if I smoked, I'd probably just smoke instead. I would just light up a cigarette. It would look cooler, you know, I'd be like. <sighs> uh, but in this case, you know, I whip this out and I, you know, sit there and look as if I have something very important to do or to attend to. Um, and, uh, you know, well, this, uh, you know, kind of takes away that excuse, at least in my mind, you know, I recognized, oh, I'm just, whatever, I need a break from the world, or for whatever reason, you know, you're going into, you know, you need a break, you need something else to think about or something. Um, uh, but it, it really opened my eyes to how much of my life, um, you know, I spent kind of just kind of secluding away and be it email or social posts or whatnot, even though it wasn't really, there's nothing really that important or that pressing. Um, and with this, I know I will get uh, certain messages if I really need them, um, but, uh, you know, I don't have to be checking them all the time. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I've really enjoyed actually exploring the world more, doing more of the crazy things like you saw in the video, and, uh, well, some more other crazy projects at, uh, at uh, Google X, which I'll have to tell you about another time. Thank you all very much. Say that one. Say that one sec. Um, congratulations. Um, radical. It seems like a, um, a brilliant realization of, of the sixth sense technology type ideas that have been talked about here. And, and so two, two obvious questions. Um, how much and when? Um, well, currently, um, actually, you're asking me today. I don't mean to make this an advertisement. Uh, we have, we're letting a few early kind of uh, bleeding edge adopters uh, uh, apply to get one. Well, a bunch have already ordered them in our developer conference last year. Uh, but now if you um, look up if I had glass, you can use like Yahoo or Bing to search for it. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, 
Nice. Um, you can, um, um, anyway, you can check out, uh, you can apply. You have to actually, today's the last day. Uh, and, and that would leading, be $1,500 for the leading edge adopters. 15000 to to do it? Uh, 1500. 1500. But if you'll give me 15000 I'll take it. It's, it's on e uh, they're on eBay right now for 15000 uh, Yeah, I wouldn't really trust those eBay uh, I wouldn't posts. Trust not that I would trust eBay, by the way. I don't know if Pierre well, or, I, or Rumor has it. So, okay, there but, are, uh, there that are, particular post. <laughs> there are a few bleeding edge early adopters here. So we, we'd like to get them in. I've got, I've got a... Oh, and, and sorry. And, and you think at, to, to market... Maybe. Oh, so later this year, uh, they'll be broadly available. It'll be less than $1,500, and uh, you, know, you won't have to jump through any hoops. Uh, we just want to, uh, to give uh, some of the people who are really passionate about it a chance to get it earlier. I mean, it, so you watch that video, and you know, when, when you change form factor, it doesn't just mean more convenient or faster. It actually changes how people think of computers and what they are. And, and I guess my, my philosophical question for you is more, you know, attention is one of the things we've discovered at TED is attention's in many ways a zero-sum game. Um, if people are on their iPads or whatever, they're, they're not listening fully to you. If people are going around with these, I, they're certainly not doing this, but isn't there going to be doubt in the person looking? I mean, has Anne ever sort of slapped you on, hey, look at me, are you looking at me? Are you looking at that thing again? How, how does that play out? Um, Anne has slapped me on many occasions. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, it does actually, I mean, we've been refining the software and the, the experience uh, to address that. And actually, it's sometimes it has been pretty uh, distracting. And uh, so, you know, the software I'm using right now, um, if something, a message that's important comes in, I just hear a ding. And I actually have to, you know, physically look up to actually see it. Uh, and, uh, you know, we experiment with just having them come up. And that was very distracting. Um, uh, and uh, you're right, it's something we have to refine. I think net-net, compared to the distraction that it takes with phones, that you know, if you're like, oh, oh, I got something, maybe I should look at it, maybe not. You know, I have to fumble with my pocket, uh, look at my phone. Um, uh, it's less distracting from whatever you're doing. So for many years, the, the, the off common rap on Google was, you know, amazing search product, um, all these smart people there. Nothing else is really working, you know, that well yet, with a few exceptions. And then in the last couple of years, you know, these driverless cars suddenly looking unbelievable potential, projects like this. You, you guys are becoming the big disruptors. The, I mean, people would have expected this to have come out of Apple, not Google. Um, well, I, I appreciate your confidence. I mean, this thing is by no means a done deal yet. And, uh, um, <laughs> but uh, if I can just declare success and go retire now, maybe I should do that. Uh, I, just, I just wanted to say, and I hope you're recording yeah. this right now, from Ted. Oh, okay, wait, 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 wait. Okay, I'll record, sorry. I was recording you earlier. I just stopped after a while. Oh. Because <laughs> it's getting a little boring. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry. Just, <laughs> um, all right, all okay, right. okay, class, yes. Ted says, Congratulations, and we want one soon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>